Hey guys, Lark from Wellington again. I want to talk to you guys today about some of the places that are a little more questionable to invest your money and really just have a look at uh, Microhash, BitConnect, and Control Finance and really just investigate what's the story with these. Now before you, you go, oh god, not another referral pumping video. I'm not pumping the referrals here. I don't like any of this and you will not find any links to any of these sites uh, down below. I don't believe in them. I think they're terrible, and I'm going to list the reasons why. Before we jump into all those reasons, quick shout out to everyone who has been, uh, you know, hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel, guys. I really feel that support, so thank you so much. You keep hitting that subscribe button, and I will keep making awesome videos for the crypto community. So, the first one I want to talk about today is Microhash. I have seen this come up with a lot of YouTubers recently who have been, you know, pumping this, saying, guys, go over, you know, yeah, it might be a scam, but, you know, get get hit my referral link anyway and go buy some stuff so I can make some money, is basically what they're saying. That is terrible. Shame on you. Bad YouTubers. Bad. What are these guys doing? You know, I just cannot imagine being so desperate to make a buck that uh, I would knowingly send people, you know, to go sign up for these obvious scams. It is crazy, guys. Stay away from microhash. No one's going to give you a 100% return on your investment in seven days. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Not even BitConnect and Control Finance are as crazy to offer that kind of uh, return on your investment. You know, this is an obvious junk site. You know, um, yeah, no fees, no limits. Yeah, no fees. Great. So these guys have free power. They can give you your profit back in seven days. Wow. Does that sound too good to be true? Yeah, it is too good to be true. Don't do it. Stay away. And I know a lot of YouTubers are saying, yeah, well, it might be a scam, but get in now with the scam and, you know, you'll, you'll make some money before it all goes, you know, belly up. That's terrible. That's terrible. Why would you recommend people to come and get into something you know is bad, you know is going to go wrong, and support these absolute scumbags who are going to steal a bunch of people's money? That sounds terrible to me. Don't support Microhash. Please, please, please only go to trusted sources if you want to invest in cryptocurrencies. Go to the exchanges. Buy the coins. They're safe. They're easy. Trusted exchanges like CEX.io, or if you want to do, um, you know, go if you're in the States, you can go use Coinbase. They're trusted. They're a good company, right? If you want to do cloud mining, you can use Genesis. You can use Hashflare. They're trusted, right? These companies deliver. They have a history of delivering, you know, and that's because they offer honest returns. No one should be crazy enough to think, man, I'm going to make, you know, my profit back in seven days. Just think about that. Just think about that. You make your profit back in seven days. That means you've made, um, God, after a year, you'd make, I don't know, like a million dollars if you invest like 10 bucks with this company with compounding interest. No way. No way, guys. So don't get involved if you think, man, maybe I'll get my referrals over here. No way. Don't, you know, shame. Again, just shame on those YouTubers who are recommending this kind of garbage. Okay, next one. Now, I want to talk a little bit about BitConnect. And I guess really at the same time, control finance, because they're quite similar in structure. Now, Microhash is a scam, and it's a pyramid scam, but uh, it's more just obviously a scam. You know, it's just going to screw everyone who ho hops on the website. BitConnect, though, BitConnect is not a scam. BitConnect is a Ponzi scheme. There is a difference. There is a difference. I am not invested in BitConnect. I will not invest in BitConnect. I know there's a lot of easy money to be made over there right now. It's not really my thing. I like mining. I like uh, investing in different altcoins. That's my buzz. That's what I like doing. But I see everybody just pumping, pumping, pumping BitConnect. And it kind of drives me crazy sometimes. Half the YouTubers I follow, go sign up on BitConnect. Go sign up on BitConnect. Guys, chill out. Seriously. You know, as much as I might love you guys, you know, to hit up some, you know, uh, referral fee awesomeness, you know, for like my Genesis mining, you get a 3% discount code and all that jazz. That's because I believe in them. I think they're a good project and an honest company. And even though they've had all this drama recently, they've, they've been trying to be honest and they've been trying to pay people out. If they were a bad company, they would have just run away with the money and not try to pay people out. Why would they even bother doing that? So BitConnect is a Ponzi scheme. 
It is. It is. I, I want you to think about something for a second. Why the hell would BitConnect want your money? If they honestly have something that's so good that they can offer a 365% basically return every year, why would they waste time taking your money? Really, think about that for a second. Why wouldn't they just go to a group of super wealthy investors and say, hey guys, here is our technology, here is how it is proven to work, and where's the guy here, Ben? Here is our uh, technology, here is how it is proven to work, and here is what we're going to do with it. And they would go to a group of Wall Street investors, they would get $100 million, $10 million, $20 million, whatever, and boom. They would just run this thing themselves. If they got a, you know, what, the compounding interest, you can turn 100 bucks into 200000 after a year or something with BitConnect? It's too much, guys. It's too much. That being said, BitConnect is a very popular Ponzi scheme. It will probably be going for quite some time, so long as... Ben, get out of here. What's this guy doing? It will probably be going for quite a while because um, it's popular. New people keep coming in. That's how a pyramid scheme works, right? Were you lucky enough to be one of those YouTubers at the top of the pyramid? Top three or four tiers of the pyramid? You're probably going to make some money. And hey, if you're at your tiers five, six, seven, eight of the pyramid, yeah, you're probably going to make some money too. But the long-term prospects for BitConnect, you can't keep up 360% a year profits. It's crazy town. It's crazy town. 1% a day is actually, like, revolutionary. If everybody could offer a 1% a day um, profit, all the money in the world would flow there. That's, like, amazing, right? And so, hey, look, for all you guys who are big BitConnect enthusiasts, you know, post down in the comment section below. Prove me wrong. Tell me why you think BitConnect is awesome. But, man, it really isn't. It really isn't. I know a lot of people are making a lot of money, but I, I think about this the same way I think about microhash. Yeah, you're making money with it now, but who are you giving your money to? You're giving your money to bad people who are intending to just make a giant profit and leave a bunch of people holding nothing at the end. Because that's how Ponzi schemes always work. And you think, man, this is too big to be a Ponzi scheme. Tell that to Bernie Madoff. He screwed people for $65 billion. And he was only offering 16% a year. Think about that for a minute. Anyway, control finance is basically the same jazz. Uh, you know, I haven't even... I signed up to BitConnect just to get inside and have a look and see what it was all about. I didn't even waste my time signing up control finance. I've heard and seen enough, you know. Again, am I totally wrong? You guys can go ahead and, uh, you know, pop that in the link down below and tell me if I'm just, you know, totally missing out on something here. But, man, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. You guys got to be careful with this stuff, all right? Invest your money in safe places. Genesis Mining, they pay. They have a long history of paying. Hashflare pays. They have a long history of paying. Or just keep it simple. Go and invest in the coins, right? I saw somebody did some good metrics the other day. If you had simply invested in um, Bitcoin a year ago, you would actually make more money or would have made more money then you'd probably make on BitConnect. So that's something to keep in mind. Yes, okay, BitConnect seems quite, you know, cool and exciting and stuff, but there's actually so many better opportunities out there. Everyone keeps pumping their money into it because they're getting all the referral fees. You know, everyone keeps pumping it because they keep getting the referral fees. But if you guys, you know, really want to make some money, there's so many exciting coins out of the market that are going to offer you way better returns than even this. You know, just invest in Bitcoin. Bitcoin's probably going to be $15,000 by this time next year great you know or go and invest in uh neo neo is probably gonna be 200 bucks by you know this time next year that's massive profits right so guys really just be wary of these websites do your due diligence and i know it's so hard to find like real information about these websites when everyone out there is just pumping it pumping it pumping it trying to make their buck keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, just a quick, um, you know, video for me today, really just talking about, you know, my thoughts about these different websites and just, just a warning. Crypto land is a crazy place, guys. Trade safe, invest safe, hold for the long term. You know, the quick buck is not always the good buck. 
remember that. Long live the blockchain, guys. This has been the Crypto Lark. Peace out till next time. We'll see you around.